This video shows how a user would generate any of the legacy cash reports, assuming the mapping of funds is complete and the trial balance is up to date. You will want to log in using your WebGap username and password. Upon logging in, you will want to choose the entity and the fiscal year that you wish to create the report for. If you need to be granted access, please follow your ITC's procedures requesting access to the WebGap system. After selecting the entity and the fiscal year, you will want to click on the legacy cash reports from either across the top or from the main GAP menu. Clicking on the legacy cash report takes you to a listing of available reports. You will want to click on the report that is desired. For this example, we will be generating the schedule of expenditures by function and object categories. After clicking on the report, you now have to choose the options that you want to show on that report. Each legacy cash report has its own options. You'll notice that right now nothing is selected. If I choose to submit the report at this point, it will include everything. If I only want to see general fund types, then I would need to click on General under the Include Fund Types box. If I wanted to see general and special revenue, I would need to click on General and then hold down my control key and click on Special Revenue. I can reset all the options, taking it back to the default by clicking on the Reset button. I can also choose what format I want the report in. There is a display option, which means the report will display in this window, Excel, HTML, Excel Binary, CSV, and Tab Delimited. You also have the option of putting a date and timestamp on your report. Once I'm satisfied with my report options and the format that I want it in, I can click on Submit. You would follow the same procedure for any other legacy cash report. 